Hello, my name is Uwe Grünefeld, and on behalf of my co-authors, I welcome you to the presentation of our paper titled VRception, Rapid Prototyping of Cross-Reality Systems in Virtual Reality. Let us start by asking, what is a cross-reality system? At its core, these systems offer different degrees of virtuality to users. So this can either be a user who is transitioning from virtual reality to augmented virtuality, for example, to integrate a physical keyboard into the experience to allow typing, or it can be multiple users that experience different levels of virtuality. An example or two examples of the latter one are shown here, in which a bystander can interact with a VR user. On one side we have face display here, on the other side we have share VR. So the basic idea here is that we want to bridge the gap that is introduced by the virtual reality head mounted display by employing like additional displays and projections that allow bystanders to see what's going on and give opportunities for bystanders to engage in the VR experience. Nevertheless, the problem is that prototyping these cross-reality systems is rather difficult. On one side, it is very time consuming to build these systems. On the other side, it requires software and hardware prototyping expertise. So to address this problem, we propose our Viaception concept. The idea is to simulate different realities and transition between these realities completely inside of virtual reality. So in other words, we suggest to simulate the entire reality virtuality continuum in virtual reality and thereby allowing users to quickly and collaboratively prototype cross-reality systems. To demonstrate our concept, we implemented the VRception toolkit. It provides two different environments for prototyping. There's Unity 3D on one side and there's a what you see is what you get editor directly in virtual reality on the other side. So, while prototyping in Unity 3D allows high customizability with well-known functionality, the VR editor provides a simple to use prototyping solution. The interesting part here is that people with expertise in graphics programming or with Unity, for example, can introduce this expertise to the prototyping process while other people that don't have a background in computer graphics um, or don't know how to program can directly engage with the VR editor. So and let me show this VR editor in a little bit more detail here. So when a user enters our VRception toolkit, so the VR editor of it, they are immersed in a simulation of the reality virtuality continuum. A menu attached to the controller allows users to transition on the continuum and experience the different manifestations. Moreover, the menu contains different prefabs that users can add to the simulation to prototype cross-reality systems. Here we show how to quickly replicate the fundamental concept of the face display system using our toolkit. So to better understand the potential of the VRception concept and toolkit, we replicated six different cross-reality systems proposed in previous work. Following a brief literature review, we identified three different categories in which these systems can be classified. So on one side, we have XR to the real world, we have the real world to XR, and we have bi-directional systems that work both ways. For each of the three categories, we selected two systems and re-implemented them using our toolkit. The original system is visible in the right half of the picture 
and our re-implementation is visible in the left half of the picture. To get a better understanding how these re-implementations look like, let us take a closer look. Here you can see the multiplayer share VR system. And here, the keyboard fading into virtuality for a dose of reality. And finally, the VR user's face as demonstrated by Transparent HMD. So following our re-implementations, we conducted expert interviews with the authors of the re-implemented systems via Zoom. During the interviews, experts could experience the prototypes in VR using our toolkit. We had semi-structured interviews with the experts to find out more about like their impression um, of our toolkit and also their experience with prototyping cross-reality systems. The experts highlighted that our re-implementation replicated the core functionalities of their systems. Moreover, they saw great potential to overcome hardware limitations with our approach. So they basically mentioned they were not bound to currently existing hardware anymore, but they could kind of think of solutions um, that might not be possible at the moment, but might be feasible in a couple of years to come. Finally, they mentioned that with our system, remote collaboration between researchers and developers is possible. This is especially interesting given the still ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. So to conclude my talk, let us quickly sum up. I presented the VRception concept, which proposes to simulate the entire reality virtuality continuum inside of virtual reality. After that, I introduced our VRception toolkit, which allows rapid prototyping of cross reality systems. Additionally, I demonstrated the re-implementation of six previously proposed cross-reality systems and findings from our expert interviews with the original authors. We saw a lot of potential for our toolkit and concept to help with prototyping or rapidly prototyping cross-reality systems. For everyone interested, our toolkit is available for free on GitHub. Just follow the QR code that is presented here. Thank you for listening to my talk and please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any further questions. Thank you very much.